Hi, this is Scott Hanselman, and I want to take a second to talk to you about some of the new features in Visual Studio 2012 and ASP.NET 4.5 in this video, Bundling and Optimization. Bundling is a new feature in ASP.NET that allows you to bundle up, literally, some of the resources that you might want to download from your application. If you have a lot of CSS files or a lot of JavaScript files, rather than making the browser call out for each file, you can bundle those up into a single file. And then while you're there, why not compress that? Not necessarily compress it in a gzip way, but compress it like minification. Uh, change variable names. Remove unnecessary comments. Bundle, minify, compress all of your resources. Let's see it in action. There's a bundle config file now in your ASP.NET application, and in there we register the bundles. Now I've modified mine a little bit to give you an idea of how this works. There are the default bundles, That'll go and take all the JavaScript files, bundle them up. Let's take a look at how that works. Here I'm saying make a directory, doesn't necessarily exist. This is making a URL called bundle slash jQuery that includes everything in the scripts folder that starts with jQuery and has a certain version. I make a separate bundle for jQuery validation and pull just these two files in. I do the same thing with style bundles. Here I'm saying all of my CSS, my base CSS, everything that is requested from content, theme, base, CSS, bundled and compressed in this order. You can make these bundles any way that you like. You control the ordering. Here I've added a couple bundles of my own. I made one called slash scripts slash magic. And I wanted to take anything with a JS extension out of the bundle folder. So here in scripts, I made a folder called bundle and I put in two JavaScript files. Here's one, it's got some comments in it. Here's the other. Now if I run my application and click on slash scripts slash magic, notice that all the white space has been removed, but also all of the comments. So my JavaScript resources have been bundled together. Instead of requesting two files, I'm requesting one file and they've been minified, removing unnecessary white space and unnecessary comments. The same thing applies to CSS. Here's the CSS bundle. We'll look at it in Google Chrome. The CSS has been compressed, bundled together, but it's still valid CSS. This is all automatic. Let's take a look at how we render these links. I'll go to the layout for this application. I've got styles.render and scripts.render. That will automatically do the right thing. Let's take a look at the result. Do a view source. You can see that for debug mode, it doesn't minify or bundle. So styles.render outputs a number of links. We'll switch it into release mode and go to our web config. Now we look at the results and you see that both of the links for the styles have changed. Now they'll call the bundling and minification handler. We've also included a unique hash at the end so that if your CSS files change, you automatically get those updated files. We'll handle the cache cracking for you. You have a lot of control over these bundles. You can make them any way that you want, but you can also add what are called dynamic folder bundles. So this allows you to apply your own transforms. In this case, we've made a dynamic folder bundle and applied a thing called CoffeeScript minification. CoffeeScript is a little language that's becoming very popular right now that looks like JavaScript, but it's a little bit more terse. Here's an example CoffeeScript file. I take this CoffeeScript file, script one, as well as the more complicated script two. When we run our application, this is the result, the resulting JavaScript transformed from CoffeeScript into JavaScript, then bundled up and minified. You can do the same thing with .less files. .less is a domain-specific language for creating CSS. Bundling and minification is also about transformation. We encourage you to extend bundling and minification, and I hope you enjoy playing with it.